Jaya Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is Agungaya Jaya. You know that there is a volcano just next door over here, about 30 kilometers from here, which is blasting its fire into the sky, into the you know, into this island and it's uh, magnificent, it's powerful and it's very humbling for us humans to just witness the power of nature rising and expanding itself to that, you know, to that extent. And so it means that I see the magnificence, the power and my desire, my intention right now is to connect, to connect energetically with the vibration, the frequency, the mystical experience of this fire from the earth rising and looking at the volcano as an intelligent, intelligent being you know spiritual god or goddess you know whatever you want to call it but basically it's an intelligent force of nature and trying to identify or relate to that being from a mystical perspective of joining energy with that source and what I've been discovering over the last few days I went to the river down here and I'm all the time into these mantras and activating this, this vibration and the words that were coming were like that it's like a mantra or a calling and it goes like Agungaya Jaya Agungaya Jaya Agungaya Kundalini Agungaya Jaya Agungaya Jaya Agungaya Jaya Agungaya Kundalini and in the process of singing that, you know, what, what comes naturally is like a sense of reverence you know, opening my arms. Agungaya Jaya, Agungaya Jaya, Agungaya Kundalini, Agungaya Jaya. You can also raise your arms to the sky and come in prayer pose. And so, you know, this is this is like a way of relating where naturally by calling the name of of this volcanic power um i bring that frequency into my system and i establish a relationship it's a little bit like going into the forest and hugging trees or connecting or bathing in a river and being like gracia gracia gratitude to this river gratitude to this goddess of bali you know in the in the sense of calling bali for instance i use the mantra bali a gracia bali a gracia to this land to this power to these people over here that have been activating this energy for an extended period of time and of course you know within the Balinese culture you have all these temples uh, rituals that are being performed to establish also a connection with the volcano a connection of reverence because of course you know the power of this volcano is so humbling that you realize that there is a very big difference of of power between humans and the projection of this force of nature and so it's good to understand that when we are relating to nature, we can really relate to nature from a mystical perspective to create a sense of union and deep, deep, deep connection. So, you know, when we look at Mount Agung, if you're familiar with the different diagrams of ley line coming and crossing, you realize that uh, Bali is really a powerful center. And by being here for, you know, for quite a while now, I feel that, of course, there is something magical and we call that an energetic vortex. Agung is a powerful energy center for the planet. It means that it's a vortex, it's like a chakra of energy, spinning wheel of power. And the release right now of this fire coming to the surface is the expression of something that the planet itself is releasing and uh, we can look at it from the place of saying wow you know Agung that mountain is trying to give a signal to humankind you know it's a possible message for human beings and it's also possible that it's simply something that would have happened anyway you know volcanic eruptions have been ha happening on this planet for an extended period of time or you can say well it's happening because Agung is trying to give us a message and this message might be a message of anger or rage or hey I'm over here look beautiful fire you know it can it can be interpreted in different ways and it's up to you to decide how you want to read those signs yeah, you can see it as an earth release imagine that Agung is really part of the planetary system part of Gaia right and so when when the the, the volcano explodes you can see it as an emotional or a sensational expression of mother earth trying to give us uh, a message what What's interesting also is that there is a cyclone right now, not too far away from here in Java, that is building up. I don't know of the extent, I didn't see the news, 
but you can see that also as a different expression like right now the uh, cyclone or something that is happening in the air it's a very different expression when you had these hurricanes in the US right just hitting uh, the mainland what you see is that the hurricanes are something that is happening in the sky in the air right so it's an air and water phenomenon that is spinning a little bit like like um, like a funnel coming into the earth the volcano is actually the exact opposite you know it's like a pyramid right with fire coming from from the earth so you have this movement of uh, hurricanes or cyclones coming down with water and air and then the fire from the earth rising in the form of a volcano in the form of Mount Agung or other volcanoes around the earth so you can look at it from a, an elemental point of view and it's also interesting to witness that there is some form of reflection here especially now with this cyclone just building up <laughs> not too far away from here you know they might be related it's like uh, um, you know two polarized aspects of of natural energy coming together and they are both you know earth phenomena. so it's almost like if you start looking at it from a mystical perspective, you can imagine that something is being transmitted here through this cyclone, anchoring itself into, into the earth, and then the Mount Agum rising with its power into, into the skies. You know, all of that, that's a mystical approach. If you don't feel any of what I'm saying, that's fine, you know. This is not science, this is mystical, it's intuitive research. It means that when I'm looking at Mount Agung, I'm trying to find ways of positioning myself so that I can relate to that expression of power, beauty, bliss, amazing, you know, magnificence, and relate to it from a place where there is an energetic connection, an energetic resonance with that event. We can take that a little bit further as well and imagine that right now what is rising from the earth some people have taken these pictures and and they say wow you know you look like a, it looks like a dragon coming out and it's true that you know the symbology of the fire coming from the earth you can see it as as a dragon as a powerful expression of the earth and uh, the dragon is also an expression of what we call kundalini which is the fire rising right is the original energy in us as human beings this is locked in the base of our spine and uh, it starts you know spinning and rising when you start aiming towards enlightenment or towards towards awakening so you can imagine that right now when you see the fire rising uh, from the earth like it's happening with Mount Agung this is why I use the word Kundalini Agungaya Kundalini Agungaya Jaya because it's calling for the Kundalini rising of the earth and of Mount Agung which is an expression of this fire or this Kundalini rising. When you have um, an experience like with uh, a mystical experience with something that is happening in nature or different ways of worship or different different ways of relating to those experiences of course you know you have all the you know the Balinese culture with their approach and what they are doing that which is really beautiful you know there is lots of reverence and lots of uh, precision in the rituals and everything that is being done but each one of us can design our own way of relating to uh, a powerful experience like this one and I've been uh, going around the world like for 25 Five years you know meditating on the slopes of Mount Kailash and different magical places uh, and uh, nature has so much to, to offer in terms of beauty and when instead of create of, of having like this separation between your body and the body of the earth you really merge with that energy you identify yourself with this this fire and power that is coming out of Mount Agung right now with all the buzz and everything that is happening in the news, I wanted to give you a little bit of, uh, you know, mystical vision here of how I experience it myself. And of course, there is everything else, you know, create safety and all that and all the science around it. I'm not discarding all that. All that is important. But here is a mystical way of approaching this vibe. If, if you are looking for a way of connecting to that, just use that mantra. Agungaya Jaya, Agungaya Jaya, Agungaya Kundalini, Agungaya Jaya, Agungaya Jaya. And Agungaya Gracia, Gracia, gratitude for, for this experience. Thank you, Mount Agung, for showing yourself. Is that when you look at that and you're singing mantras, maybe the intention is to influence the mood of this volcano. It's like to go there and be like, please, please calm down, you know, don't go too hard on us. And, um, you know, that might be one of the possible intentions. The intention of this mantra is not that at all. It's like, you do your thing we trust that you are going to give us the signals and there is no 
intention here either to appease or to change the mood is more like taking part of this fire and bringing it in the core of our third eye in our heart in our being so that we enter in resonance with this pure powerful fire of the earth i hope this makes sense i love you